Yama, everyone. Um, before I actually go into it, I was listening to Kate McQuillan earlier today, and she said something that really inspired me. Um, she said, we come from a country where culture that culture is in songs and is sing, it gets sing. Um, let me repeat that. We come from a culture that sings its geography, dances its history, and paints its stories. I think that's absolutely beautiful. And we all belong to that. Um, I'm the Community Project Officer at Moree Local Aboriginal Land Council. We have two reserves. And those reserves come from, obviously, colonisation and fringe dwelling, so on each end of town. So we have Stanley Village at one end and we have Mei Crescent down the other. If you have a look at this picture here, I'm lucky to have one of these pictures. These are my two great-grandmothers. One is from Stanley Village and the other from Mei Crescent. So what we've done is we've created a joint community advisory committee. We've brought two communities that had animosity, had a lot of things that they, a lot of confrontation because of those, the fringe dwelling things. So they've never ever united, not once, on any project, in any meeting, not nothing. This is the first time they've come together to, crea to create a united front. So we call that Camilleroy Caring for Country. So what we've done, because we're at, we're at stage two, we're in the engagement and the planning of the Aboriginal Community Waste Management Project. We've had a community engagement by having barbecues to inform the community about the Aboriginal Community Waste Management Project and what it entails and also to get their involvement. Something very important when you want to go in and approach an Aboriginal reserve is to let them have inclusiveness in that project and planning. So here, what, what I've done was, I've got two CEAs, Community and Engagement Advisors. They're both employed from the actual reserves. One's from Mei Crescent, one's from Stanley. And they've created surveys asking the people what they would like to see what happens. Also asking them about waste and stuff like that. Here you see some kids. We've had, um, we built a partnership with an organisation called Beyond Empathy for this particular day to bring them um, aboard. One of our volunteers who is actually sitting here is my auntie, Valme. She comes from Stanley Village as well. So what, what they've done is they've gone around to a house that's been demolished and grabbed some bricks. The kids paint them up to put around their gardens. That's just to get a feel of it. Then we've had another auntie from Mihai and they've got their tins and they painted those up so that the guys can put plants in there. These are most people that get involved. There was a few people that are actually from other services that came, which is the first time. These barbecues on reserves are the first time ever. So it's something that we've accomplished. We've also accomplished um, a building a partnership with the local government, so Moree Plains Shire Council as well, and that's first time ever. And Moree Local Aboriginal Land Council has been standing for over 50 years. And the reason why we had that partnership is because I wanted a waste service agreement. Yeah. So these are our guys. The guy up top, the guy on your, on my right, sorry, is Alf. He helps with taking away rubbish. This was during the waste assessment. And the guy on the left is actually an elder at Stanley Village. That's Stan Smith. And this young female down here is Nicole, and she's our CEA for Me I Crescent. And they're doing a great job. They really are. Nicole actually had an engagement party on Saturday night, and I looked at the decorations, and she recycled bottles and put glow, glow sticks in them for the lights. And I thought, you beauty. So we're doing something positive. But I think my, my main message to everybody is don't be afraid to engage with Aboriginal people. The first step is scary no matter what you do, but take it because it's all about creating unity. You know, we all belong to Australia and we all need to unite to make that positive change and progress. That's it.